Hello guys, I'm Architect Oliver and welcome back to my channel. Today, I prepared the continuation of the sample for our topic, uh, UAP Document 301 or also known as General Condition. Uh, I hope na makatulong to sa pagre-review nyo. Uh, but before we start guys, if you're new to my channel, kindly subscribe para maging updated ka sa mga videos na ipopost ko. Okay, so let's start. Number one, a person, firm, or corporation providing guarantee for contractors band. Again, a person, firm, or corporation providing guarantee for contractors band. A. Contractor B. Subcontractor C. Surety and D. Architect Answer C. Surety Next These are additional information issued as an addition or amendment to provision of specification A. Supplementary specification B. Specifications C. General conditions and D. Written notice Answer A. Supplementary specification Next Number of copies of shop drawings that the contractor shall prepare at his own expense to be submitted to the architects A. 2 copies B. 5 copies C. 3 copies and D. 7 copies Answer A. 2 copies Next Architect's action on request for payment must be made within how many days? A. 5 days B. 7 days C. 10 days and D. 15 days Answer D. 15 days Next, the contractor has the right to terminate the contract or suspend work if there is suspension of work for blank days through no act of the contractor and employees. A. 30 days B. 90 days C. 60 days and D. 120 days Answer B. 90 days Next, the value of extra work must not be calculated using this method. Again, the value of extra work must not be calculated under this method. A. By estimate and acceptance in a lump sum. B. By unit prices not exceeding 25% of the original contract of the particular work involved. C. By actual direct cost plus 15% for contractor's profit, overhead, and contractor's tax. And D. By actual direct cost not exceeding 20% of the original work. Answer. D. By actual direct cost not exceeding 20% of the original work. Next. Which of the following does not represent a shop drawing? Again, which of the following does not represent a shop drawing? A. Work and erection dimensions B. Arrangement and sectional views C. Scaled model and D. Kinds of materials and finishes Answer C. Scaled model Next, issued by the contractor as a requisition for payment for work done in the specified period. A. Certificate of Payment B. Certificate of Completion C. Guarantee Bond and D. Request for Payment Answer D. Request for Payment Next, 
under Article 7 of General Conditions, who will secure the occupancy permit? A. Architect B. Building Official C. Owner and D. Contractor Answer D. Contractor Next, what document describes the material and how such is in installed in a building? Again, what document describes the material and how such is installed in a building? A. General condition B. Specification C. Special provision and D. Schedule of materials and finishes Answer B. Specification Next, drawing shall be accompanied by a blank containing name of project, contractor, number of drawings, titles, and other pertinent data. A. Notice to proceed. B. Letter of approval. C. Letter of transmittal. And D. Contract. Answer. C. Letter of transmittal. Next, catalog data does not supersede contract document. Again, catalog data does not supersede contract document. A. True. B. False. C. Definitely not. And D. None of the above. Answer. False. True. Yes, the catalog data does not supersede the contract documents. It's true. Next, all costs for shipping, handling, and testing of samples are to be paid by the owner. Again, all costs of shipping, handling, and testing of samples are to be paid by the owner. A. True, it's the owner's expense. B. False, it's the supplier's expense. C. True only if it is stated in the contract. And D. False. It's the con contractor's expense. Answer. D. False. It's the contractor's expense. Next. A full-time constru con construction inspection. Again. A full-time construction inspector hired by the owner assisting in the supervision of the work. Again, a full-time construction inspector hired the, by the owner assisting in the supervision of the work. A. Architect B. Project representative C. Engineer and D. Contractor Answer B. Project representative Next, guarantee to enter in a contract if awarded is called blank, furnished by blank. A. Performance bond, owner. B. Payment bond, contractor. C. Proposal bond, contractor. And D. Guarantee bond, owner. Answer. C. Proposal bond, contractor. Next, how many copies of complete catalog data for every item of equipment shall the contractor furnish? A. 2 B. 3 C. 5 and D. 7 Answer B. 3 Next, the contractor shall provide and maintain adequate weather-tight temporary office what is the area of the room to be provided for the architect's use? A. 6 square meter B. 10 square meter C. 12 square meter and D. 15 square meter Answer C. 12 square meter Next, in Section 6, Article 19 of UAP Document 301, 
The supervisor must be a licensed engineer or architect who will work personally and inspect the site at least blank. A. Once a week. B. Three times a week. C. Twice a week. And D. Every day. Answer. A. Once a week. Next. Architect Oliver, the contractor of the commercial project, got provided a guarantee bond to the owner. Within the period covering this bond, defects are found in the materials installed in the project. In this case, which of the statement below is true? A. In case the contractor fails to do the work or ordered, the owner may have the work done and charge the cost thereof against the amount retained as provided for in the agreement. B. Such repair and corrective works shall be done at entire cost and expense of the contractor within 15 days after written notice to the contractor by the owner. And C. Both A and B and D. None of the above. Answer. A. In case the contractor fails to do the work so ordered, the owner may have the work done and ch charge the cost thereof against the amount retained as provided for in the agreement. Next, as defined in UAP Document 301, period of making good of known defects or faults shall mean a period of not more than blank calendar days unless otherwise expressly named in the contract calculated from the date of issue of the certificate of completion a 5 b 15 days c 10 days and d 60 days answer d 60 days next architect ali the contractor of the project noticed discrepancies between drawings and specification. In this case, what should be done? A. Drawing should be followed. B. Specification should be followed. And D. Either A or B. And D. Clarify to the owner. Answer. B. Specification should be followed. Next, before bidding, the contractor must visit the site and make estimate of facilities and difficulties attending to the scope of work and its execution. A. True, the contractor must be involved in the design including the site visit. B. True, the contractor has to pre-assess the project site and its surrounding. C. False. The project has not been awarded yet. And D. False. The project estimates and program of work can be done in the contractor's office. Answer. B. True. The contractor has to pre-assess the project site and its surrounding. Next. A surety bond with the proposal submitted by the bidder to guarantee that the bidder will enter into the contract. Again, a surety bond with a proposal submitted by the bidder to guarantee that the bidder will enter into the contract. A. Proposal bond B. Payment bond C. Performance bond and D. Guarantee bond Answer A. Proposal bond Next, the project has been awarded to UNO Contracting Company. What approved form of bond shall they secure to guarantee that the execution of work are in accordance with the terms of the contract? A. Proposal Bond B. Payment Bond C. Performance Bond and D. Guarantee Bond Answer C. Performance Bond Next, how many percent of security bond shall be furnished by the contractor to the owner? A. 10% B. 15% 
C, 20%, and D, unspecified. Answer, B, 15%. Next, the contractor shall submit blank sets of prints of shop drawing to the architect for approval and blank copies shall be returned to the contractor with necessary correction. A. 4 sets and 1 copy B. 3 sets, 1 copy C. 3 sets, 2 copies and D. 5 sets and 2 copies Answer B. 3 sets and 1 copy The contractor shall submit 3 sets of prints of shop drawings to the architect for approval and 1 copy shall be returned to the contractor with necessary correction Next, if the construction again, if the construction started without necessary permit, who shall be responsible? A. Owner B. Architect C. Building official and D. Contractor Answer D. Contractor Next, who shall verify and certify the lines and levels of any portion of work any time deemed necessary by the architect? A. Contractor B. Subcontractor C. Surveyor and D. Foreman Answer C. Surveyor Next, the owner has requested the architect to instruct UNO con Contracting Company for an extra work, what shall be the method of compensation for the contractor? A. Probable con contraction, con construction cost plus 15% of contractor's profit. B. Actual direct cost plus 15% for contractor's profit. C. Actual direct cost plus 30% for contractor's profit and D. Probable construction cost plus 30% for contractor's profit. Answer. B. Actual direct cost plus 15% for contractor's profit. Next, the contractor shall submit written notice to the architect at least blank prior to beginning, suspending, or resuming the work to the end that the architect may make preparation for inspection without delaying the work. A. 7 days B. 15 days C. 10 days and D. 30 days Answer C. 10 days Next Thank you guys for watching the video from the beginning until the end, sana may natutunan kayo dito sa UAP Document 301 General Condition na sample na pinapayar ko. Uh, kindly read yung do UAP Document 301. Very important siya. Uh, this shows the relationship between the architect, the owner, and the contractor. And ano yung mga responsibility ng architect? Ano yung responsibility ng client? Ano yung responsibility ng contractor? It's nice to read this uh, document, guys. Uh, thank you once again, and I hope makapasa na kayo sa board exam. Bye!